Thanks for joining me, folks. I've got some tea bowls here I just want to trim off. So what we're going to do is just a little bit of water on the wheel head like that. Not too much. Just wet your fingertips around there like that and then face down like that. With the thumb on top, then just tap it until it gets into the center. You see, once it's in the center, press it down. And then take a sip of tea. I'm using one of these kind of trim tools which I think you can see has got the angled ground on the inside of the blade here. Okay, here, but not, it's not ground on the backside, like most trim tools you find. That's my preferred favorite. So now I'm just gonna pare away the clay here. So generally first I do a cut down like this at a, an angle and then I come in at this angle like this and now I'm using the other end of the tool I'm going to cut away like that get my light right here. It's knocking me on the head all the time. Sorry folks, slight technical technical issue there. Now we're just going to Cut away the inside of the footwork, the foot here. Now you may notice that the, the pot's not held onto the wheel with lumps of clay, because I don't like that, that method, because it's rather messy, because all the trimmings fall down and stick to the clay in its way. I'll show you this when I've done it. I know you can't see it from where it's at at the minute. The camera, my iPad. Just I can't manhandle the iPad and do this at the same time. Okay, so there it is. That's a sort of fairly straightforward, simple bit of trimming. We're just gonna tap it like that. Okay. You don't want this here to be too fat. You'll notice, I hope you can see the angle here on the outside of the foot and there's also there's also an angle on the inside of the foot there. You want to make sure that you you always break corners and you don't have sharp edges, sharp corners. You really don't want that. Okay, I'm just going to, you want to look at it for proportionality in terms of the width of the foot in relation to the total width 
and and the height as well so that it kind of feels right <laughs> well Simon I don't know what that means it feels right <laughs> I don't know how to quantify that exactly well that's something that I'll be honest comes with a bit of experience and you get to know what feels right for you I'm now just applying a little water just to the rim here because it was face down okay so there it is there's that we'll do one more these are slightly different stages of hardness here I've got them under plastic So, you know, when you pick up your piece from under the plastic, the first thing you want to do is eyeball it. Is it round? And if it's not round, just gently, you should be at this stage, still be able to just squeeze it a little bit to get it back into round, okay? So again, a little bit of water on the wheel head here, not too much, and a little around the edge here, and then we're going to go face down and then we're just going to tap center it you'd be surprised how easy it is to tap center if you just practice it a little bit you know if you're not sure if the pot is on center you can take something like a stationary object and just put it up to it close and you'll soon see how true it's running. Another thing to bear in mind as well, depending on how the pot was thrown, sometimes you may find that it's centered here at the foot, but when you look down here where it's sticking to the wheel head, it's, it's sort of doing a little dance, you know? It's not quite, in other words, the foot and the rim are not completely concentric, if you know what I mean. They're a little bit uh, eccentric. Now, if that's the case, and it very often is, you'll find, you want to sort of take an average of the top here and the bottom down there and sort of aim maybe to get it centered about here where my, where, where my finger is as an average between the two, okay? Let's go. Okay, so there's that cut like that. You have to sort of just guess this here a little bit. You don't want to go too too narrow to start with. I'm now gonna I'm now gonna come in here like this, you see? Ah, nice little bit of sunshine there. Nice little bit of sunshine. Yeah. Now I know some of you don't like this camera angle. And the reason I'm doing it like this at the minute is just because it's simple to do on my iPad and I can just prop it up in my wheel tray right in front of me in the vertical. I'm actually going to order a tripod holder that can go into my, sorry, a laptop, uh, ugh, iPad holder that can hold my laptop and attach itself to the, uh, my tripod. Sorry, getting confused there with my terminologies. Yeah, so I'm offering, I'm going to be offering, I'll probably do a video on this to make it more sort of official, but what I'm going to be doing is offering Zoom for people. It's going to be a kind of Zoom where I sit and will just watch you do what you do and then make comments to try to help you to improve. It's not gonna be a Zoom with me also on the wheel, 
with cameras, everything. It's too complicated and I've already done that and I don't want to do that anymore. And everything I try and I'll be talking about and demonstrating I've already done on my YouTube videos. So it's just going to be me watching you um, and I can do that you see from from the kitchen table or wherever I'll just spend an hour with you watching you and just giving you some critique if that's something that you would like yes there will be oh, I'll have to charge you for it of course but you know I'll try and keep it reasonable so people can can afford it in this expensive world that we're living in these days so you notice as I'm cutting okay I've got a finger here okay and I've got a finger here all right now this finger is pushing down and that is keeping the pressure down with a little bit of that moisture on the rim that I told you about when I started with the pushing down that keeps it that keeps it centered and keeps it attached to the wheel you see I mean that's not to say it can't come off the wheel and it quite often does come off the wheel but it, you don't need to worry about it because once you've mastered the art of tap centering it's so quick just to set it back up again you don't worry and uh, if it comes off the wheel it's just an opportunity for me to pick it up and have a have a look at it you know and assess it what I've done so far so to speak it's nice having a kick wheel like this so you can listen to the music I've cut the adver advertising on my videos for now because YouTube doesn't pay me anyway. I haven't been paid for years. You can't contact them because I have an issue with my account that was set up in Spain and I'm now here in the States. And I have an issue and I need to talk to somebody and I can't talk to anybody. There's nobody that you can talk to. You've got to do it all, you know. Answer all the questions that are on, on the threads that are there, you know. It's a real pain. So in the end, I've given up with them, quite honestly. And uh, we're just gonna listen to music. <laughs> and it's better for you, because you don't have to have all these rude interruptions of advertisements, 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 and it's so chop, chop, chop all the time. Okay, so here's another one, okay? Notice again, the bevels on the, on the corners. Okay, give it a couple taps like that. These are slightly generous T-bowls, I suppose. Okay, just put it on the wheel. Just, just tap center it like that. I'm gonna actually take my trim tool. I'm gonna just what I would call dress the lip here dress the lip just by holding finger and then tool just very light skim okay and now a couple of drops of water on it on the end of my fingers you see like that and onto there like that it's very important that you do not take a sponge okay to the lip of your pot no, no, no. Just fingers with a little bit of little bit of water on the end, you see? That's all you need. You don't want to use a sponge because it draws all the grog and the gritty nature of the clay to the surface. And that's the last thing you want for something you're going to put in your mouth. Okay, folks, there it is. Okay, so have a go, practice these things. And, um, yeah, as I say, I'm gonna be doing this Zoom. I'll do a video on it, actually make it more kind of, 
but you can write to me as well if you're interested. Yeah, hey, so I, mean, I heard you're doing those videos, those zooming. I could do with some help. It could, it could actually help you a lot because a lot of people continue repeating the same old errors over and over again. And if only they just had somebody to sit down with them for a few minutes, five minutes, and say, hey, why are you going so fast? Or why don't you use more, more water? Or why don't you, why are you, you've got the wrong finger postures? You know, you want to do it like this kind of thing. And I can tell people that it could be very worthwhile. Anyway, as I say, I'll be mentioning it later. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. As always, keep practicing. Go to my website, simonhpottery.com. We've got some new pots we're putting up right now in the process of. I apologize, my Etsy shop has. <laughs> my Etsy shop has gone west a bit, but yeah, we're trying to reinvigorate it again, you know. Take all the photographs of the pots, you know. Pump them up there, you know. All right, hey, I'll see you later. All the best. Bye bye.